there's one product that you get this year. You try open it and I was like, what are your goals up? These, so boot tool. I tricked a boot to do our car pack. Highly mascara. What a mood for 2024. Hello guys, why do I feel nervous to talk to you? First weekly vlog of 2024. Welcome back, bestie. I missed you so much from going from vlogmas to not vlogging for like a week and a half has just felt the weirdest thing ever like it's been such a change it's felt like such a loss and like i don't know it's just been crazy i'm so happy to be back chatting to you and just be back where i belong with the camera so i hope you guys first of all just had the best christmas i'm so excited to start back with the weekly vlogs we have got a crazy week we just need to get back on our grind to be honest i've just finished and wrapped up a full yearly reset which i filmed for you guys so that'll already be on the channel we've got to get our vision board back out this week because i have not made it yet that little bit of my wardrobe is looking very bare and that is where i always put my vision board so we need to do that we need we just need to get on our shit honestly it's january we've got a busy few months coming up so i'm just excited I feel like I'm in a really good like balance with January's now where I don't put like crazy amounts of pressure on myself but I also take it as just like a fresh start and just like a chance to re-inspire myself and just like ground myself and just like okay I might have been going this direction but I actually want to go this direction you, I feel like that's what January is all about it's just like a bit of a check-in and I'm just excited to like just continue the coziness still it's such a cozy month I saw someone on Instagram I can't remember who it was but just saying like January is such a cozy month like wrap up and you know it's probably going to be quite bad weather and it's like very much like stay in and watch movies and i was like it's so right so welcome back to a weekly vlog i just can't believe like we're at the start of a year like it's it i understand how people get overwhelmed by the start of a new year because it's like you can just see like the whole year ahead and you're like I want this to happen and I want to do this and I want to achieve that and but it's just like an any ordinary day really it's currently the third yeah it's the third of January and it feels like it's been January already forever for days like New Year's Eve seems like a lifetime ago I had the best Christmas and I put on my story and asked if you guys wanted to see what I got for Christmas and majority of you said yeah because I did say like I understand like it's been a hard difficult year for so many people and maybe you're not that interested in seeing this right now so if that's you skip along and um, but if it is you because I'm just so nosy I love to see what people got for Christmas then I'm going to show you everything that I got for Christmas I got some beautiful just like thoughtful presents to be honest and Christmas isn't about gifts whatsoever but I just I understand the girlies who want to see because I also would want to see because I'm a nosy girl so I'm going to start off with some fragrances that I got so I got this Machino miniature collection and I've never I think I've had one Machino perfume before I was going to say I've never but I feel like I have but I can't recall what what it was but these are actually minis and I'm sorry but these are so cute I only have smelled the um I don't know what it's actually called but the gold one but these are so cute for like car packs you know like making a car pack and that's actually something that I want to do with you guys this week because I feel like it's just the season of getting everything together and I want to make myself a really cute like um practical car pack and I thought these perfumes would literally be perfect to go in there or like chuck in your bag so that one's so nice so yeah I got this little perfume set which I thought was so cute and Ollie got like I think it was a Versace version which I thought was a really cute gift as well from Bow Avenue I actually got a pair of their socks and if you watch me you'll know I'm just obsessed with Bow Avenue things and I got a pair of these pink socks and I, I honestly because i've been waiting to start filming I, i've barely touched any of my christmas presents i've been that girl who's had them all lined up for days because i've just been so excited to show you and i haven't wanted to like get anything out so i can't wait to put these on my feet now because it is cold lord knows it's cold i actually then got in my secret santa which was my sister-in-law um a pair of bow avenue pajamas and like i said i think for the money like they're such a like just like a mini step up from primark and all of that but their quality is so so insane so they come in these like they're the pajamas in a bag and they're these really cute design i really wanted to wear these on christmas night but i withheld for you guys so <laughs> 
but they're these they're like a baby blue and white stripe and they've got like an ever so slight like silver glitter through i just think these are stunning and i love the tie waist and i've had bow avenue pajamas for literally like three four years they've just lasted me so well and then this is just the matching top this is just personally like my favourite sort of um, like design of pyjamas to wear. I just think they look so like effortless. And then let's see what I got in here. Oh yeah, I was going to start with fragrances wasn't I and I got mislaid. So I actually got Alien by Mugler which I've never had before. This was off Ollie's dad and I've never had it. I, I know a lot of people rave about it but I've just never personally bought it. Um, so I'm very excited actually to see like what it smells like. And how it like sits on me. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I actually really like that. It's less like sweet than what I usually go for. It feels like quite mature and like almost like oody, I want to say, but I don't know. I actually really love that. So that's so exciting. But this is the perfume that I was most excited for. Ollie's mum actually got all of us girls this, and it's because we all go on about it. Um, and she listened, and I was like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted this. It's Good Girl by um, Carolina Herrera. And she got us the gift set. And don't you just think that just like screams like Christmas? It's such a lovely gift set. So I'm so excited about this. Did she open it? And I was like, and we were open them at the same time because us girls like got like similar presents so we didn't want to like spoil it for each other and when we opened that i was like <sighs> i was like i'm so excited i've all i've literally always wanted this i can't get any of it out but it comes with a body lotion and it comes with like the roller stick which again i thought would be very good for like a car or throwing it in your bag and then how stunning is the bottle i just love it i can't wait to put it on like my drawers over there and i sprayed it on i think i've got this on on christmas it's just incredible. I have always wanted this perfume. So when I opened that, I was like, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for everything. But you know, when you've always wanted something, but like, but never even really like, I don't know. I was just so grateful. I was like, oh, I'm so excited about that. So this was actually probably, I got a lot of thoughtful presents this year. One being off my mom and also PSA. Um, my mo me and my mum are going on Hindu in a couple of months so like we said we weren't going to do like proper like big presents we were just going to get each other like something little to open so she got me this mug of me and Sash and honestly I could have cried so I got that which was so cute and she also got me a, um, a pillow because I'm going to Australia this year which I, I can't believe like because it's been like always next year next year next year it's just felt like a really long way away and now i'm like oh my god we're going to australia literally like 40 something days and she got me this really cute cushion she was like sash can go to australia with you then and i was like that's really cute and really special so i need to put that up on my bed now now i've finally gone through everything um and yeah sorry so this is honestly one of the most thoughtful things anyone has ever got me so my sister-in-law got me and technically Mia, Sisters and Souls tumblers. And they're so cute. They're baby pink, if you can see. And it says, like, Sisters and Souls. And it was packaged so beautifully. And if you know me, you watch me, you know that, like, emotional support water bottles are, is a necessity in my life. And I thought this was just so cute and so thoughtful. So, yeah, that's for me and Mia. I need to give it her when I see her this week. But I thought that was so, so cute. Like, I just love personalised things like that. And I got a little, little bit of... Um, like random things my mum got me some satin hairband well scrunchies because i was telling her that like they're so much better for your hair so she got me a two pack and then a little like makeup headband too which was cute and yeah and then the only other thing that i've kept the box for are my ugg slippers because i'm not going to show you everything that mia got me because obviously that was in not the last vlogmas episode but the the one before that me and mia did our full gift exchange but she got me these ugg slippers and honestly i have lived in these i'm pretty sure she just got yeah, she saw it. No, yeah, she got my regular size. And honestly, they fit me really perfectly. And I just love this strap. I think they're so cool. I've just lived in them. And I've seen a lot of girls wear these as like Tasmans. And if you want to know what they're called, they're the Funk Et. Um, it just says K Funk Et. So that's all the info I can really give you. But yeah, that's everything that I got for Christmas. Yeah. And then Ollie, I can't show you what Ollie's got me because we haven't got it yet. But we will get it. And I'll take you guys on the journey of like getting it. But he wants to get me some like jewellery made. But it's not like we didn't want to do it as like rushed as that. Like I've got my mum's engagement ring 
from my dad that I want to like repurpose into making like an eternity ring of some sort so that's going to be like all very exciting on in the background but yeah that's everything that I got for Christmas I hope you guys enjoyed that little haul I of course got other little bits and like really cute like skincare things but those are like the main things that I haven't yet touched um, and all open so it's like easier to show you guys but as always I'm so thankful for everything that I got for Christmas and in no way shape or form is this bragging just want to put that out there that's just purely like because I know that I love to see them and I won't want to come across as like bragging because I'm just so grateful and then this I actually wrapped up for myself on Christmas day and forgot to open it so I thought we could try it now it's the refi tinted lip gloss and it's in the um, shade blush I saw it keeps coming up on my tiktok I think it is or is it like an yeah I think it's an ad on tiktok and they just look incredible so I thought I have to try it and I really liked the look of the blush color but look at the applicator does that not just scream like that girl bougie oh god it feels literally wet <gasps> how nice oh my god that feels so nice on the lips mm, guys I love that I had, did have a little bit of the Clarins lip oil, lip oil on underneath. Also, these nails don't. Biggest regret of 2023 is getting red nails for Christmas. Because they were so cute on Christmas Day and like Boxing Day and even New Year's Eve. Like I thought they were cute. First of January, I woke up and I was like, what have you done? And my nail appointment's not till like the 12th. So we've got a while until these are gone. Um, but no, really rate that. I will keep using it. But it's literally like, it's made my lips look wet. You nearly fell. How good. So, it is currently Wednesday, like I said. I don't really know what the overall agenda of the week is going to be. I know that I want to make the car pack. I know that I need to sit and go through all my emails because I feel like from like the 20th of December, I just checked out of my emails, like have not been on. So I need to sit and do all of that. I've been working out. You will be proud to know. I've been like in quite a good routine with going to the gym. So continuing on with that, I did a food shop yesterday. Like I said, I did like a big reset on the channel. So that's already live. We need to put all these Christmas presents away. Um, what else do we need? Yeah, so we want to do the vision board, of course. It's like an essential for the first week of January to get the vision board done and printed out. I'm going to do a digital one as well to put as my wallpaper. And I feel like that's just so important with just like getting yourself excited for the year. So vision boarding, do the car pack, stay at the gym, like just stay in like a bit of a healthy routine. Also, I need to get back in my cooking gear at. Last night was the first time like I properly cooked for me and Ollie. Since honestly before Christmas, like we've just been like doing mini meals and you know what it's like over christmas so back into that and um, what else do we need to do this week podcast tomorrow see me because i haven't seen her since christmas eve eve which has been crazy to be away from each other for that long so yeah exciting week but i hope you guys are excited for the weekly vlog anyway all i'm gonna do for the rest of the afternoon before dinner is put these presents away and then i'm going to i feel like i've got so much space here in my i think this is my hair's up and then we're going to cook dinner together i've got like quite a few like new recipes that i want to share well i want to try and then i'll show with you guys so i need to go do that and um, yeah i'm just going to sit and edit to be honest i've got a video to edit that hopefully i'll be able to get for you guys tonight so yeah that's the poa but i just was so excited to come on and i didn't want to put it off too long so we haven't got too many crazy plans today but we've got so much catching up to do <laughs> she in her pajamas makeup off by like what time is it 20 past seven nothing to new around here <laughs> 
we just cleansed the face using a new favorite and if you want like a new like foaming cleanser i'm yet to try the kylie skin one that mia got me for christmas but i'm gonna like make her and um, make it my mission to try everything that she got me by the end of the week so i can give you guys reviews but i used the medic a micellar mousse and i've been really getting on with this so i took i just had bronzing drops on um, the primark one so just had to give my face a cleanse and um, i've got this like weird i don't know what it is it's like little I don't know. Like for a second, I even thought it was like in Patigo because Ollie suffers from Patigo now again, now and again. And that light is really annoying. And I was like, please tell me you have not given me in Patigo. But no, I don't think it is. I think it's just like a weird spot. And I put a spot patch on it and I left it on for literally like double the amount of time, which probably wasn't the smartest idea. So first skincare routine of the year. Let's go, girlies. Also. Just put on my new pyjamas. Should I put your piss so you can actually see? Also, this coat is here because I got it literally covered in mud out of my car, which is not good. But yeah, I've got my new bow, I have a new pyjamas on. Does anyone else think that this is a bit... I think they're meant to be like that. I don't know. Um, but they're so, they're so cute. So, skincare. First of all, gonna go in with the Biomat Balancing Face Mist. I think I need to get a light. You know, like the one that clips onto your camera because, like, vlogging at night is just not, it's quite hard. I'm just going to put my flash torch on so you guys can actually see. Um, the darker it's getting, like, the worse it's getting. Then I'm going to go in with the Laneige Water Bank Moisturiser. Is it better if I put it there? There we go. Such a nice moisturiser. It's literally, like water like jelly it's so nice on the skin so dinner review i saw that recipe on tiktok when i was just looking for some like new year inspo because i'm like quite what would you say the word it's like just like i get like i like a recipe and i want to cook it every week but i know that like my personality type's fine for that but ollie gets very bored so i have to like try and like make a good balance of new meals fun favorites you know so i saw that and it was giving like loaded fries from nando's so i did it and you know what it was really really nice like you could do it so many ways you could have like your brick so if you're into that I don't really like it i find it quite salty but like you could really like you could add corn or i don't know like you could add a lot but it would be very nice a lot of different ways so i'll link the video that i got the inspo from down below anyway so if you guys want to make it then you can um sorry products i just went in with was the kylie skin under eye cream and i'm actually just going to put on my Laneige. um I've still got like a third of this left and I literally got it at the start of summer. It lasts so long. It's so good. Like you just become like addicted to it. I'm just going to go in with the UK Lash Eyelash Serum. Long bow flash lines. The lash growth is real at the moment. They're getting so long. Like if I like really open my eyes, I swear it nearly touches the eyebrow. Um, what else was I going to put on there? Oh make this your mission this year girls make 2024 be the year that you finally start applying your cuticle oil i actually this is my second time putting it on today i put it on earlier as well but if you can do it twice a day it's literally just getting in the routine of it but i'm going to try and do it like with my skincare i'm going to put it in my skincare bag and then i've literally got no excuses but i want to have a big catch up with you guys tomorrow like a big like journal in night it's ollie's first day back at work after christmas today so he's a bit tired so i was like come on let's jump into bed um so tomorrow yeah that's literally what we're gonna do we're obsessed with pile dark honestly i've got so much to catch up on you on catch up with you on it's like from christmas since i last spoke to you um but yeah we're obsessed oh, obsessed haven't been obsessed with a show like this for a long time with pile dark so we're gonna watch that and um, yeah so tomorrow We've got a fun day. Reuniting with Mia. We're going to do the podcast. We're also going to, um, yeah, I want to have like a big like journaling day, night, whatever with you guys and talk to you a little bit about like goals, how I set them, how I like to achieve them and work towards them and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to leave the vlog here tonight and then I will well speak to you guys in the morning. And I want to work out tomorrow and I just want to get, you know, on the January grind. It's where it is. So, Good night and I will see you for day two of the wheelie walk.
Good morning, guys. I hope, I was going to say I hope you slept well, as if you've been asleep since I spoke to you last night. I slept very well. I went to sleep so early and, well, I say so, well, it was early. It was before 10 o'clock and our sleeping pattern has been fuck'd over the christmas break and i was really trying to be the mature person like ollie like we shouldn't be staying up to this time but he was like fuck off he's like it's my christmas break he's like it's the only time I ever i've worked i'm like no work he's like i'm staying up he's like i'm getting on my xbox and we were just like binging pole dark till honestly like i mean i don't think we ever saw it pass at half three but there was a lot of 1 a.m's 2 a.m's 3 a.m's and honestly it's just not for me like staying up late and it's the sleeping in because i like need seven at least like seven eight nine hours of sleep so if i'm going to sleep at two best believe i'm not waking up till 10 and waking up at like past i can wake up at 10 and feel like not good about it i mean not in the week but like on a christmas or like you know the weekend and feel okay but past 10 i don't know what it is it just makes me feel sick like i'm like oh my god the day's over so i got up yesterday at what time was it i think i got up about well when ollie went to work at six and i just stayed like up and then today he got up at five and i got up with him too and just made myself a cup of tea and honestly just sat and i've just had such a slow morning i've planned a bit of my week i watched the sunrise it's only just rose it's like eight um and yeah i've just had like a slow morning and i just wanted to psa one of my biggest tips me and me always say this if you want to get into waking up early then especially if you're like really new to it but and you find it really overwhelming i think the best way to actually stick to getting up early is set an alarm but like don't put pressure on yourself to get up like if you want your ideal morning to be like getting up at half five being at the gym for half six walking like, or whatever like if you have this like idea you're not going to be able to achieve that on the first day like or if you do like you'll do it for a couple of days or at least in my experience i'll do it for a few days and then i'll just literally fall off and end up waking up at like half seven eight again so the biggest piece of advice from me would be set the alarm for like five half five six o'clock whatever time you want to be start getting up at and literally just like i know it's unproductive but just like actually sit in bed on your phone or like put a movie on or just like sit and read like so you're awake like physically and mentally but you're not actually like expecting anything from yourself and then like ease yourself in then maybe like the next like two days you'll do the same and then on the third day maybe you get up and you go for like a, a walk or then you go to the gym and then like you slowly start adding things until you've got that like morning routine because it's really hard to get that like ideal morning routine back like that like you're just not gonna do it or if you do good for you but i personally end up doing it all for like two days and then i'm like i'm fucking shattered i need to go to sleep and then end up falling off it so personally that's what's always worked better for me so i'm just easing myself in like um getting up at a reasonable time with all but not like expecting myself to get up and go to the gym so this morning i thought we could have a little bit of journaling talk because i talked a little bit on my stories about um like what i personally feel about in january so if you don't follow me then make sure you follow me because i do like to have like little chats on instagram but i'm just going to pull the story up because i put a little question box on there and i just wanted to see what people put um because i just was asking like what are your guys is here we go I'll put the story on the screen so you can read it, but I just asked you guys for what your intentions were for January. And honestly, so many of you were doing like the no spend January and I think I'm gonna do the same. I mean, I haven't really spent anything this week anyway because I haven't been going anywhere, but I think I am too because we've got such an expensive couple of months coming up and like a lot of money's gonna be going out. So, and I don't like, I feel like after Christmas, like December, such a, a spending heavy month, it's actually nice to like have a break. And like, if I've wanted anything, like I've had it for Christmas or I've brought it myself. So it's like, I don't really need anything anyway. But a lot of you guys were asking me to hear some of my goals and intentions and to like talk about it a little bit and um, talk about like a vision board, which I will do. I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow. So I'm gonna do the vision board tomorrow, but I thought it'd be a nice time to talk to you guys about setting goals and like how i personally set goals so let me just grab my journals 
I personally feel like it's really important to start with. Like this is just like, it's gonna go into a lot of like, it's such a big conversation, but if you just wanna literally like have a set of goals, and especially if you want to be starting to make your vision board, then this is like the first step you have to do. Because if you want to make a vision board, you need to know like what are your goals, like what are you visioning, like what do you need to envision, what do you need to physically see in front of you to like inspire you and motivate you and like manifest true. So you've got to start with your goals for the year. And I have got a list of goals. I also feel like it's super important to like split your goals up and also find a balance between being realistic with your goals and being like motivating and like manifesting your goals like there has to be like a balance where you are still going to be achieving things because if all your goals are really goals that you'll be achieving in five ten years you're going to feel really like crap about not achieving these huge goals when you don't even need to be achieving them yet because they're like things to achieve in the future so my January focus is just purely getting into a healthy but consistent routine, which is where like the getting up but not expecting yourself to do all these crazy habits is like really useful and like it really comes in because I just want to be consistent with my routine. Like I don't care to have like a really extreme like getting up at 4am and doing like five hit classes a week and you know like eating in this like tiny calorie deficit and like I don't want that extreme like hard you know like 75 hard I saw Hannah Renee was doing it I think and I was like whoa like Loki would love to do it at one point in my life but not right now like it's just not not for me so yeah that's my January focus and then my like January intention slash like mini focuses some of mine are regular and consistent gym and this like my goal personally is like four times a week but whether it's one time a week for you and you just want to ease yourself into it but four times a week works for me and like it's manageable I enjoy it it just you know keeps me healthy and um, more water less fizzy drinks I got so bad with fizzy drinks over Christmas I can't lie I was literally drinking like can after can after can and I think especially because I don't drink alcohol it's like such a like substitute like I'll just oh I'll have another coke like I just throw it yeah so drinking more water no unnecessary spending like I said I'm not going to do like a really strict no spend month but I think I am low-key I know it's not like my February finance month but um yeah I think I am going to do like a a more um I'm gonna do a no spend month in a sense staying decluttered in my room I did that reset at the start of the week it made me feel so good so I just want to stay decluttered and just like keeping fresh like my room my wardrobe my car just being in like a good like self-care routine next one is Next one is just staying organised with content and work. Use my weekly planners and just create like high quality content. And I need to get back on my TikTok game. Me and TikTok, TikTok have never quite... Like, I feel like YouTube is just for me. Like, I also love Instagram. And I, but I also know that Instagram's like not really where it's at. Like, it's really hard to go on Instagram. But I feel like having a solid Instagram platform is really important and when i'm in a good mood with tiktok a lot especially when my room's tied like i can smash tiktoks but so like it's a good opportunity but like when my room's a mess and like i don't know i find tiktok quite tricky so i want like that to be a focus like just creating high quality content and making honestly the most of like every hour of the day and then i also like to write like my how so how am i going to achieve like these ins these focuses these intentions so i've just wrote three um, using my weekly plans and staying organised, no late nights and brainstorming every week. Brainstorming is so important, especially if you're in like a creative job or you want to be like creating creative work. Sitting down and actually like brainstorming, like whether it's YouTube videos or TikTok styling videos that I want to do or like outfits that I want to take pics in. Like it's just brainstorming makes actually putting things into, into fruition so much easier. So... I hope that was a nice little like goal talk and um, when I do the vision board I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about like my actual like goals for the year and like what I kind of want my 2024 to look like but yeah that's like my first step when I first started just thinking about goals I was like right let's get like January like box stuff um, and get myself in a good place with it and then you know the rest will come so every morning I love to sit especially with this one and write some things that I'm grateful for, some like daily intentions, 
and then maybe like some short-term goals just to sort of keep them ticking in my brain and sort of so I know what I'm working towards. So I always like to start with the date. And today we're going to write three things that we're grateful for, three daily intentions, some short-term goals, and then I'm also going to just write some affirmations that I want to like consciously carry through, carry with myself like throughout the day. So this is your sign. Get back into your journaling game, girls. I'm just watching McKenna while I get ready, but guys, I just used the it Cosmetics CC cream, which I haven't used for a hot minute because I've been on such a Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Hype. And I thought, you know what? Let's switch it out. Let's do something different. I forgot how like glowy this makes you. I just don't get it. Like for the price of this, it's so good. And it's also got a, um, SPF 50 in. It's color correcting full coverage cream, CC cream plus. It feels lighter than a foundation does in my opinion. But I just forgot like how glowy. Like I haven't set my face yet. Um, But honestly, like it just adds such a glow. Like I can't, like I forgot how good this product was. If there's one product, here it is. If there's one product that you get this year, make it this. And I get it in color i don't know so i'll really look at my look fantastic order and i'll link it below and i'll put the shade next to it i think it's medium though if they do a medium i don't know i'll have to check um but yeah just have to say the glow is insane i'm gonna finish getting ready um, and then we're off out so yeah brb but i'm watching mckenna because i've got a three hour vlog to get through so the girl isn't gonna get it okay guys makeup is done i went for a bit of a darker lip and i actually really like it i found this lip liner in my car yesterday it's actually brand new it's an MUA one and it's in the shade Sincere. These are really good. Um, I can't take the lid off with one hand, but they're very good lip liners. Like since honestly discovering these, I've never brought like a MAC. Ow, just hit my elbow. <laughs> I've never brought a MAC one again since I got these because they're like two pound. I think they used to be even cheaper. They've gone up a little bit, but they're still like two or three pounds. So we love that. So that was the liner. Um, lipstick was Cashmere by Revolution. And then I just topped it off with the Lottie London Oil Slick. It's like their lip oil and it's in cocoa just to give it like a shine. But I was meant to tan last night, but I just couldn't be bothered. And like my tan's not fully off everywhere, but it's like my hands are so bad. It's so bad. So just ignore that. I'm going to tan tonight. I think I'm going to have a bit of a glow up. I'm going to, when I get home later, I think I'm going to put a hair mask in and just like have a bit of a glow up. I want to dye my braids. I haven't done them for a while. Derma plan. We know the vibes. So it's time to pick an ape fit. Me and me are going to go to the pumpkin patch, which is this really cute. It's like our cutest cafe around here. I was going to go on Friday with my mum and grandma and I got there and I didn't realise they were closed for Christmas so I was like gutted but then I was like you know what that's so nice and like it made like since it opened I feel like me and Mia like fucking love them like we really love it there and like the fact they did that I just I don't know I loved that for them like for the staff I was like yeah give them Christmas off like it's so kind and it's such like a cute like staff who work there so we've got a pick of it I literally have not got properly dressed all I can't even remember since like since before Christmas. I feel like after Christmas, like it's just been like pajamas. So I do not know what to wear. Like I've no idea. Um, I'm just thinking something like cozy because it's like. Well, I mean, we're only going for breakfast and recording the podcast, so. Um, I haven't like been buying any new clothes to be honest. I haven't really got anything like super new that I'm dying to wear. What shall we wear? Should we go jeans and a top and a coat? Yeah, that could be nice. I might wear my long fur coat. Or do we go, like, leggings? I have got a new pair of really nice jeans, though. They're like a vintage wash. They're from Boohoo. These are a 10. I should have probably got an 8, because an 8 in Boohoo normally fits me very well. But they're like this vintage dark wash. They've got rips on. They're really cute. They're, like, distressed everywhere. I, the last time I dressed up, actually, I did go for a meal one of the nights of this Italian. If you guys are local, it's called Michelangelo's. It's so good. It's by, like, Merry Hill. So I think I'm going to wear those and then maybe just like a plain white t-shirt. Um, I don't remember getting a keloid on my ear. I feel like I've got so much to say this morning. But my ear is getting very, very sore. My ear is getting very sore. I don't know if you, you guys can probably see better than me. I need to do like a mirror in a mirror. But it's getting very sore. I just hope I'm not getting a keloid because I've got a keloid on my belly button. When I had that pierced a few years ago and it was the most 
awful situation ever. Do I do like a little camel? Actually, I feel like the neckline on this is weird. It would look cute though. I feel like I remember the neckline was a bit high. Let's try it on. That drawer is yet to be sorted out. Right. Oh, also this. And um, one sec. This deodorant I have actually been using, the Sol de Janeiro, and it's aluminium free, which is why Mia got it me for Christmas. It's really good. It smells like <sighs> strawberries, but not like overly strawberry. Like it's like quite like subtle, but it has got like a really nice scent and it's really lasted. Like I haven't found myself like sweating with it on. I haven't really worn it to work out, but I've worn it just like day to day and it is really good. So let's throw this on. This has still got the tag on. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Maybe it's not this. I can't get... Can anyone else never get these black rope things off? They're so, <sighs> Come on, muscles. Oh, yeah. She's strong. She's strong. Right. Let's put this on. Okay. Besides me just getting it covered in makeup. I think that actually looks like that. I'll just give it a wipe. I'm so bad at getting makeup on my top. I feel like that looks fine, doesn't it? I could really do some more like long sleeve tops. Does this look cute with like a fur coat? I was thinking this one. I don't know if the top's like too. Yeah, I feel like I need a white top. Right, you're gonna. Oh, it looks cute. It's the jeans. I could do with like cream. Oh, I do have some cream wide leg joggers. Right, let me go and try those on. I will be back. The way that I 360 with my outfits actually makes me ill, but this is what we've ended up with. This is comfier to be fair, and I'm gonna use Good Girl because I just love it. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, bag. I think it's gonna have to be this like denim one to bring like the blue leggings. They're more like grey, but I feel like then I might just like tuck the jumper in a little bit on the side like this. I just need to add my jewellery and then I'm gonna go and pick Mia up. So I will see you guys in the car because I really need a weasel. <laughs> Hello angels, I am sorry that I haven't spoke to you but me and Mia literally went for lunch, brunch and then we have literally just recorded the podcast, Ooh. we've just recorded the podcast um, and now I'm literally just leaving so I'm sorry that I didn't vlog with Mia but we were just catching up, we haven't seen each other like I said since before, that is giving me the ick so bad when I keep doing that and um, we haven't seen each other since before Christmas so we had a lot to catch up on Christmas presents and you know all that what we got up to so yeah I'm just driving to my nan's now because I was going to see my nan on Thursday oh thank you so much sir I have got some products off Mia that <laughs> I'm literally like if you guys um I'm literally like Mia's a guinea pig for so many products and she has quite sensitive skin like she has eczema and she gets um quite prone to acne on her face so there's products that she uses and then like ends up not getting on with whereas I'm pretty bulletproof when it comes to products so I've just she's just given me a little restock of little products to try for myself anyway um, and one of them is the Coco and Eve I'll show you the others when we get back but it's the if you watch our gift swap it's the same flavour as the shower gel that she got me guys do you think she's grown she's bloody heavy to carry up carry up to pick up now I tell you and she's entered her biting phase <laughs> she's now she's born on me's birthday so August, September, October, November, December, January. She's like five and a half months. Biting has got to stop. We only have kind dogs. So, big look. Oh, Roxy, you're cute. Like a Labrador. She's so cute though. Here's the old girl. Here's my angel. Little baby. <laughs> Right, it's time for dinner anyway. I'm gonna cook. I don't know if to do. I don't know if to do chili or noodles. I'm thinking noodles because I haven't done it before. And I feel like sorry, Roxy's gonna eat. So, um, drink even. I'm thinking we're gonna do noodles. I feel more inspired to something new. So let's make. 
Okay guys, this is how they turned out. I wish I had some like garlic, um, you know, like chili flakes to put on. But this is mine. It actually looks really good. The noodles taste really good. I just tried some, but I've just topped it with this sweet teriyaki sauce and then this hoisin sauce. This is actually just the Sainsbury's one, but the noodles tasted so good. I literally just mixed these three and this is just some soy sauce. And then I literally just put chilli powder on the Roxy Get Down. <laughs> some chilli powder on the steak, some pepper, some salt and some garlic. And then I literally, sorry, there's all bits of noodles, but I fried some leeks and some red onion in with the noodles. And then I did spring onion on top. It looks so good. So I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Okay, taste test. I'm so excited with it. I haven't had anything like this for so long. I'm not really one to make like noodles at home. Oh my god, that is so good. I love noodles. I just never make them because Holly's not a massive fan, but we've all got to have our favourite noodles now and again. Time for an evening shower, guys. I'm not really like a late night showerer, to be honest. I'll rather just wait till the morning, but you know when you just feel so gross like that's me currently i've just sat in bed and binge like two episodes of pulled up picked off and wiped off half my makeup pulled all my mascara off it's not a vibe so i need to shower it's literally like past 10 o'clock which is normally bedtime for me i want to tan but I also want to put a hair mask in, but I don't like doing the both of them because i have to get my hair wet and then it drips on the fresh tan so i'm just trying to decide do i tan no but then like I, i've just put fresh white bed sheets on such first world problems but you know you're just trying to figure out the best thing to do so i don't know if to do like a instant tan in the morning because i just would like to be like tanned for the weekend so i'm thinking maybe wet the hair in the shower which is always a treat i think we're going to go with that so products that i'm going to use in the shower to take the makeup off i'll just go in with the medicaid micellar mousse that will just like melt the rest of my makeup off in the shower then i'm going to go in with the bioderma oil cleanser over my body and um, i'm probably going to shave my legs as well if i'm not going to tan tonight so i'm just going to go in with my estu dries at fresh as well which is going to be such a treat and um, then fresh but i'm going to go for this one i don't really have like a favourite but I'm just going to go with that one and then for a shower gel I'm going to go in with this one which I haven't used yet it's a new one that I got for Christmas and I'm so excited to try it it smells of lychee and dragon fruit and oh my no you've never smelled anything so gorgeous in your life it's the smoothie shower gel by Coco and Eve so I'm going to try that which I'm so looking forward to and then I'm also going to actually moisturize and then i thought this will obviously pair really nicely with that and this just smells incredible it's like a big like fat thick butter so yes that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wet the hair have a nice shower and then honestly go off to snooze land i feel like there's something quite refreshing about going in the shower and then getting straight into bed and going to sleep so that's what we're gonna do and instead of putting music on i'm actually just gonna put like a peaceful like med like, i'm gonna see if maybe youtube have like a shower meditation or something you know just something a little bit more calming i think i might also light my candle so i don't have to have the big light on okay thoughts on the coco and eve shower gel incredible it smells so good i can't wait to top it with this i'm literally just about to do it but i just i don't know what Oh my god, my earring's fallen out. Oh my god, thank god I realised that. Oh, I'm definitely going to have lost that. My tragus one. Imagine if that would have fallen in my ear hole. It was literally just like floating. It's like a tiny little earring back. Oh no, that's my Astrid and Mimi one. Oh, so annoying. Oh no, I'm going to have to order one ASAP because that will heal so quick. Um, it smells incredible and yeah I don't know what that noise is it sounds like a cat of some sort <laughs> I don't know what's going on 
and it smells incredible and it also like made my skin no i can't why is that noise <laughs> One second. let me shut the window it made my skin feel so soft like i can't it like it washed off and like my skin just felt like actual butter i've just put a hair mask in show you which one I used I used the L'Oreal like metal I think it's called metal detox I've I really love the Bri Biogeo one but I don't want to get through it too fast it feels like naughty to use it but I looked and to be fair it's like 30 pound which I don't mind because it is like a big tub and I love it so yeah but I used this one by L'Oreal and I've used this a few times and it is actually very good as well so that's that but yeah let's put this on and see how we like it moisturizing on youtube is always so hard because you just low-key want to get naked but if i got naked i'd be demonetized so unfortunately girlies we're just gonna have to i'll try and do a leg with you it feels so thick like, look at that all right let's see what the hype is about Oh wow. Okay. It's thicker than the superfoods one. Like the superfoods one by L'Oreal is like really like light and like buttery. This is more like a thick, but the scent is really giving. Of a fruity moisturizer, like I know like Mira is such a vanilla stan, but like for me, I just love a fruity or even like a coconut. I know that's fruit, but it's a bit more of like that tonal. And um, but this is just like this speaks to this scent really speaks to my soul. Good morning guys, happy Friday. We've got a fun day ahead of us. So first on the agenda is tanning. I need to tan. I'm not really a tanner in the day, but you know how I always see you do it, Naomi Jennis. And if she could do it with two crazy kids running around, not that her kids are crazy, I don't know, but you know, she's got toddlers, then I feel like a single, you know, well, not single, you know, a girl with no um, distractions can, and we can make it through the day. So I've got a spot patch on. If you're looking for good spot patches, me and Mia both are obsessed with this brand. They're called um, Hero. There. and these are the invisible ones they've got hyaluronic is it hyaluronic acid in i think the hydrocolloid i don't know um but honestly they make my spots go down so much if i've got one that i just want to like go away because we've got a housewarming party tonight so i want to look like presentable that's why i want to tan but before i continue i've got to just these run i'm gonna link them below you don't even understand that i still smell of these products this morning that's never happened to me before i am obsessed with them i literally walked into my room i didn't even go into my bed like into my bed i was just in my bedroom and dolly was like what have you got on he was like you smell unreal and i was like don't i was like don't because i'm already like ready to scream about these and the fact he said that i was just like oh. it's like I know, I was like, it's this new shower gel I've got, and then me giving me this, and I was like, it's just such a good duo, like, you don't understand. <sighs> it's something. So, we are going to tan. I also want to quickly dye my brows while I'm doing it, so I think I'm going to put the um, dye on now, and then, like, tan once they're drying. This is the eyebrow dye that I always use. It's just the Isla dye brow. I normally get it in dark brown, but for some reason I have it in black. So... Fine. Just have to like mix the colour and the activator together. I always do way too much though. But last time I did this, I was really tempted to put it on my lashes. And then one of you girlies commented and said, like, it is literally the same, like I always do it and I'm fine. So I'm so tempted to because I was scared of doing it and them falling out, but this girl was like, no, like it's literally the same like i always put it on my lashes so i'm so tempted to but i wouldn't encourage you guys to of course for legal reasons <laughs> but i am tempted to just put it on so i haven't had a lash tint for so long um, my brows just have like they're just a little bit lighter than my hair 
And because I don't like to like fill them in or anything, sometimes when they're not dyed, like they just some sometimes look a bit like missing. I'm like, where are you on my face? So Okay, I'm just gonna leave them like that. I'll leave them for like five six seven minutes and then i'll just wipe it off with a little cotton pad so for my tan the only thing that's going to screw me over here is i don't know where my little buffer brush is that i always use for like my hands and my neck so we're going to go in with our trusty st moritz in medium this is just like a big fat bottle that i've got i haven't used this for a while but it's like my go-to like safe tan so we're going to use that i'm just going to run and get a mitt and see if i can find like another like similar brush just because I can't remember the last time I had to put tan on my hands with a mitt and I feel like it's not really, it's a bit scary. Okay, we've got the Loving Tan Mitt, which is a really good mitt. And then I've just found this like buffing brush from, I think this is Zoeva, one of my old makeup brushes. So I'm just going to use this moisturiser on my, you know, just like elbows, knees, Gosh, this smells like a strawberry <laughs> yogurt. Oh my God, there's nothing better than waking up freshly shaven and just like feeling fresh. Oh, so good. Also, I'm gonna just keep my hair mask in today because then I thought I can have like a big shower all at once, wash my tan off and wash my hair rather than doing like two showers. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, honestly, why do I look like a psycho? We are going to take the mitt. This is how this tan looks, by the way. It's got like a nice, like orangey undertone to it. Actually, it smells really nice. And then this is it on the skin. There we go. How good? Literally one layer. Such a lovely colour. Oh, it's been a hot minute since I used this tan. I forgot how much I really liked it. Okay, brows are looking like this. They really need like a pluck, but I'm going to do it like before I get ready tonight and just do my makeup straight after. But this is how the tan turned out. It's such a nice colour. I mean, excuse the face to neck ratio. I just don't want to put any on my face with all of these like little random spots. So I think I'm just going to ignore it to be honest i'm going to put some glasses on and just hide the face i'd put a cap on if my hair was down but it's fine i thought i'd just show you how it turned out i'm just going to throw on this black tracksuit from um this brand and i just need to fly into the matching sweatshirt and i'm just going to put that on hmm i don't know where that is Definitely got it. Surely I would have washed it at the same time. Oh, it's here. It's a really comfy tracksuit. I've worn it a lot. I really needed just like a black tracksuit. You know, just like an everyday... I feel like black is just giving like... She's on errands. Um, this is actually all we're going to do. Can I get away with my hair in this? I think so. I mean, we're not looking cute, but we'll look cute tonight. So that's what you just have to remember. Um, my tan, I'm a, only a bit worried on my hands because it's just really hard to go in. I didn't use that brush because it had like a build up of makeup on. That brush had like a quite a big build up of makeup on. So I didn't use it. And that's all I'm worried about. Like just making sure I got inside my, um, like each individual finger. But it is what it is. What can we do? So... <laughs> We're ready. This morning I've got to go and take my grandma shopping. So I'm going to go and see her now. Do that. And then this afternoon I want to go to Boots. And Mia's got a nail appointment at two. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to have enough time to like see her in between. But if so, um, see Mia. I want to go to Boots and get some stuff for the car pack. So I need to make a list of stuff that I want for that. Um, and then I also want to get started on the vision board. So that's the rest of the day. Um, I'm getting hungry so I need to have something to eat. But these boxes <laughs> they're so misshapen like what is this it's just because i've put too much stuff in it over the time but oh no <laughs> 
it's really lost it they've really lost their way okay bestie how about a trip to boots to do our car pack so this is where we currently are with the car pack i've got this cute one it's from a brand called hair gain i think i got it in pr but it's a really beautiful sage green color it's got gold hardware i feel like this is just screaming car pack to me like i love the zipness of it i love that like it's squared and like it's quite deep as well i mean it's a bit flattened so obviously it's had nothing in yet but i feel like when she's actually full like she'll fit quite a lot in so this is everything that i've got so far to go in it so we've got a sanix deodorant which is one of my favorites and i feel like it's perfect to go in so we've got that we've got an old you glow glass i thought i'll just chuck that in it's you know you never know when you might need a glass i've got a pair of airpods which i feel like because i'm more of a beat girl now i never really reach for my airpods so i'm going to keep them in here and then if i ever need to reach for them to like go to the gym or whatever i've got a pair i've got my pair of sunglasses these are from palm angels uk they're like a balenciaga tortoise shell but they're so cute so we've got those and then at the minute we've got one hair bubble and this is currently my like car perfume it's by giorgio armani i know it's Emporio armani and it's because it's you it's a really nice scent but i just always have kept it as my car perfume but i don't know if it's going to fit in here or whether i should get like i did see a girl have the sold a janeiro mini one. Oh no actually that will actually fit Oh, that literally fits perfectly okay that's fine because i really like that scent i get a lot more compliments than i ever thought and i've just put on a bit of the refi lip gloss in blush such a sight i've also got one hair bubble i feel like i need a few more hair bubbles but look oh i've got a spot patch on <laughs> look how nice it's honestly like it's not too sticky or heavy wear like um you know like when you've got no makeup on and you put a gloss on you sometimes feel a bit like contrasty because of like the color and everything and the I don't know it just gives more lip balm oil which i really like so yeah i put a cap on just to hide what's going on underneath here because honestly i feel like two hours i'll feel great right now i feel like a slop so let's run into boots let's see what we can find if we need to go somewhere else then we will go there but it's currently 10 to 3 so yeah that's the vibe let's go okay we're in boots we grabbed a basket so far i've got some period pads these are just the ones i use anyway but I can leave a few in there. I picked up this hand cream in coconut and almond. This, I can't get the tub off to actually smell it, but I can smell like a victory and it smells nice. So we're gonna go for that. And then I'm torn when it comes to like actual hygiene bits. I saw these just like boots ones. And these are just like, um, cause there was like a wipe or there was tissues and I feel like wipes are probably better. Cause like what am I gonna use the tissue for? I mean, maybe blow my nose. So I was just going to get these because I was thinking these are better, you know, like to wipe your phone. So I think I'm going to get those, but now I'm torn on whether to go. Or do we get this really cute, like, Love Hearts anti-back? Do we get this one, which is, like, it's hospital grade, 99% like bacteria, and it's rhubarb and tonka, and that one's new. Or do we get, like, a spray? So you just have to go to... Um, there's this one or there's the car rex one is this like a continuous one yeah whereas that's like a spray spray i'm thinking i don't know eeny meeny miny mo catch a fishy by his toe if it spills let it go eeny meeny miny mo it is not you today it's this Okay, and just think about else we can do. We could do with some hair bubbles. I've got a grip at home, so I'm not unless I don't know how much they are in here. I don't want to spend like five pound on a hair grip when I can get them for like a pound everywhere else. Oh, they've got minis here. Yeah, I could do with face wipes. No, just for an emergency. I don't know where they are in here. Though. I haven't seen any. They've only got the simple ones, but for a tiny packet, no, because you can get a big packet of the boots on to like fifty p. So I always get them from the train station. They've got all of these like minis. Let's go to the teeth section, see if there's any fluoride free. I know there's a new brand in here, yeah. Oh, this is a breath spray. Is it ever that deep? Like, would I not rather just have chewing gum? Maybe chewing gum, that could be one to put in. Okay, we secured what we wanted to from Boots. The only other thing that I want to do before I actually make the pack is just I've got a few things at home, like hair oil, like a few more hair bubbles. Like I didn't want to buy some in Boots when I've literally got like hundreds at home. So yeah, I've got a few little extra things that I want to make 
like part of it first at home and then i thought we could like make it and i'll show you like what i actually decided on getting because that was low-key stressful it's like you know what it is i should have just made a list lists are genuinely like the hack to life i swear on my life if you are not into lists like become a list girl like once you're a list girl you'll never not be one unlike me today because i just was like oh that will be easy like i'll just go into boots and get some stuff but i also have not been into boots for so long like it was low-key really fun <laughs> okay time for a boot tool bestie we just grabbed the extra things out of my house that i wanted so boot tool first thing i got was this really cute pink brush it's just like a vent brush it's not like the best quality but you know sometimes your hair is just to stay i thought this is like just an easy brush like i didn't want to invest in like a tangle teaser or anything like that for the car like it's not it's not that deep it's more like you know if you've been to the gym and then you want to go to the shop and you look a bit of a mess then these are like one of my favourite just like on the go wipes. These are the Boots moisturising cleansing ones. I personally always get the pink pack. Um, I got these biodegradable cleansing handy wipes. There's 12 in there. They were like 80p I think which I thought was really good. Then I got this coconut and almond hand cream. Let's smell this now we're out of Boots. Oh, I hate it when they don't peel off easily. Okay, let's smell it oh wow okay love that i'm glad i got that i personally love a hand cream i wish i would like put more on i tried to do it like at least a couple times a week i really actually write the aldi one it's like a it's like a oatmeal color it's got like a red um like a stripe or something but this will do for the car then i got the car wreck um antibacterial hand sanitizer spray that's good for like spraying your phone and things then i got this it's the boot fresh and minty breath spray i don't know what this will be like but let's just try it oh i sprayed it on my face oh gosh that's really strong actually okay slay from boots with that oh yeah i can imagine after you've ate like a smelly meal and you want to go somewhere or like see someone that's something good and then i just got a pack of period pads so what i got out the house was i just got a grip i don't i saw a tiktok i think it was emily kaiser and i think she's actually like the i mean i don't think she's the originator of these car packs but i feel like she's the one that made it go viral on tiktok but she always says oh my god that's missing teeth oh well um like not to drive or i'm sure i've seen it on her page like not to drive with claw clips in your hair in your hair because if you were ever god forbid in a crash and you went like that you don't know whether like the claw clip could go into your skull so i'm always pretty wary but i thought it's always good to just have one like, even if it was for the gym i got a silk scrunchie and then i got a little machino perfume the ones that i showed you that i got for christmas i thought i'll just like keep bringing one out to refill i just picked this one up and then i thought if i was going somewhere a little bit more like bougie and i wanted to smell like you know that girl i brought the good girl in because i thought then i could always like chuck this in my bag like on the way out going somewhere so i got that i know we're very fragrance heavy but whatever oh i actually grabbed some i saw these they were just like um random period pads so i'll put these in there and then i'll restock from that and then what else did i go oh i just got a hair oil this is just a pantem one which is like half empty and i haven't been using this that much so i thought perfect to take in the car and then hopefully I actually get through it so that's everything that i got I'm, i was making a tiktok so i'm just going to put everything all together and then i'll show you how it looks at the end and then what time is it it's quite cold in here to be honest you rest on my phone it's half three so probably then go and have a shower how long's my time been on i put it on about nine i think so that's 10 11 12 1 2 3 6 hours maybe leave it on till like 4 then that's like a solid 7 and then i'll wash off that's like putting it on at 12 and washing off at 7 isn't it i feel like it's gone dark enough anyway it's developed a lot today um the hat by the way is adenola and adenola if you don't know unless they've put them up which i wouldn't blame them for because they are so affordable this is actually 15 pound i think i've got two adenola hats and I can't believe how like cheap they were. And then these are actually from Boohoo, which is wild. They literally just give ugh. Someone said to me the other day, um, oh my God, I really, who was it? I can't think, but someone thought they were real. And I was like, no, I was like, they're from Boohoo. And they were like, oh and i was like yeah i was like they're not real um but yeah i don't know the caps if you want to become a cap girl in 2024 i love a cap especially on a day like this 
and I feel like Adenola like gives the vibes and it's super affordable so yeah let's put all this together and there will be a car pack girly okay she's built and she looks so cute look this is your sign to build a car pack this 2024 I swear to god this is so one it was so much fun and also like i'm so prepared like what can go wrong to me now the only things that i couldn't fit in was this perfume which is fine so i'm actually going to take it in the house like it's been on my car literally since last christmas and it is a shame because it's a lovely scent and i didn't think i was going to be able to get the oil in but i actually think that i will now i think it just like needed like its shape more so the oil is in yeah the oil will fit for sure the only thing that i can't get in I mean, I probably could if I got everything out, but I, the, the only thing that I couldn't, like, properly fit were the cleansing wipes. So I'm just going to put these at the side, like, of the pack, but I think I'm just going to put it... Because of the type of car, I don't have, like, a middle console or anything. Like, it would have to go here, and I feel like it just looks messy, and it would get in the way of me, like, grabbing my drink. So, would it fit in there? Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to put it there, and then the wipes can literally just go there. Okay, that was so much fun. We're all done. That literally cost me like probably £15. Pound. Um, the boot shop cost me like 10 and then obviously just like the added things. But you could definitely do it like more bougie or like more affordable. I bet if you gonna went on Amazon, they would do like a whole pack. But yeah, gonna run in the house. Do, I've got a little bit of work to do, so I'm gonna get on with that and then I'm gonna wash this mask out of my hair and everything. So we are out the shower. Tan is washed off. I feel like it probably didn't come out like as dark as it would like if I'd slept in it. I don't know though because I did leave it on for a few hours but um, yeah. Face is done. I thought though that we could try the Kylie mascara. So I've just curled my lashes. I got this for Christmas and I haven't used it yet and I really want it so. The brush is like not like super thick but also like not super thin. It's like just regular i guess oh gosh it's extending them a lot i haven't worn black mascara in so long so i feel like i'm gonna think this looks so harsh i've been reading my brown mascara era oh guys i actually really like that literally look off one coat off one coat look at how long and they don't go like clumpy which i really like slay i'm just watching mckenna's vlog because it's such a long one and i'm still not through it i would say like first impressions it doesn't feel super wet you know sometimes like a mascara you pull out and it's like really wet it doesn't feel like that it feels like quite not dry but just not overly wet it lengthens them really well and like my lashes aren't getting stuck together or clumpy which we love oh i actually really love that i'm obsessed with that let me just clean my eyelids off. You should really wait till they're dry, but... Okay. Look. Up close, I love... Oh, what's going on with the camera? I love this. That is really good, guys. Would definitely recommend to a friend for sure. Okay, I feel like that's makeup done for now. I'll just line them. I've got to have dinner and everything. So, on to hair. What are we going to put in it? And then I think I might just duet style it, GHG style, because it's just, like, the easiest. At least it'll be, like, straight and everything then. And then I might just get the roller brush on the bangs. But the bangs are so long, like, ridiculously long. My plan with the bangs is to have them cut in again and to have them cut, like, shorter and more like short so i can like properly put like style into them but because i'm going to australia like relatively soon i don't want to have them cut now because i feel like by the time i go to australia they'll be at that like awkward grown out point so i'm just holding on to like maybe a week two weeks before i go have them cut in get used to styling them bang we fly to australia <laughs> that's my plan with them so products that we're going to use for post hair care <laughs>
Okay guys, we are ready to go out almost. Just need to pick a fit. My mum wanted to watch me do my hair, so I showed you guys the products that I use and I used the GHD Duet Styler and then I just like tried to um, do these bits. I just like flick them like this and then they just like drop into nice like flick outs. So what I'm gonna wear is, because it's just like a housewoman, I feel like it's just like comfy but like cute vibes. So I'm gonna go with this knitted cardboard. And I feel like this is giving like, you look presentable, but it's not, you know, it's not jeans. So I'm gonna put this on. So I think we might have an Indian. So I don't wanna like eat a core rate and then put jeans on. Okay, this is how it looks. It's so cute. They sell them on TikTok. Mine's from Glamify, but they're literally like at all the boutiques. And I think scent of the night is gonna be, do we could do Alien? I haven't worn it out yet. Yummy. Yummy. Um, okay. I think that's literally it. I don't know what shoes, but I might just put my antelopes. Sorry, Frank. Frankie does not like. The thing about Frank, she really does not like it when you spray stuff. Like, it makes her sneeze and she gets really annoyed. I'm just going to add. Sorry, Frank. Go on then. Get some fresh air. Get some fresh air. Some oh, okay. She doesn't want to go out. I'm just going to put my rings on. Um, and then I've just been wearing these hoops, to be honest, from Primark a lot. They're quite small, but they're just like quite simple and nice. So I'm just going to put those in. My hair feels so soft. It feels so nice. I can't believe that's like the first hair wash of the year. Everything's like first of the year, first of the year. I love it. Okay. I wish these were a little bit more flicked, but oh well. So yeah, this is how we look. This is the makeup. <laughs> I'm on these gone so bad. And Mia had her nail appointment, so I've never been so jealous of that girl in all of my life. So she's no longer on the red hype. I want some like, okay. I was gonna say I want fresh socks because what if it's a house where it's like no shoes, which I would probably make my house. Especially if there was carpet. Um, I don't want to wear like an old pair of socks, but these are literally fresh. I feel like once you've worn a pair of socks a couple of times, like they're never, they're never what they were. Like, let's just be real about it. Everyone's socks are like low key grey. But these are new. So I'm going to put on my antelopes. And then to be fair, with this, I don't need to wear a coat either, which is nice. So that is the, that is the 411, whatever it's called. This is the OOTD and we're going to go to a housewarming. We're going to have, I'm pretty sure Ollie said we're going to pick up an Indian. So that's what we're going to have. Um, so I don't know whether I'll speak to you guys tonight or tomorrow, but either way, peace and love. And this is the look. Hello guys, happy Saturday. I just trained at the gym. Um, it's not actually as cold as when we left. It was really cold when we left the house, but it's actually warmed up a bit. It's half 12. We did, we did get in till quite late, to be fair. It was like past, I think it was like half 12, which is pretty wild for us, to be honest. But I, we had a really nice night it was really nice like we just saw like a lot of ollie's friends and their girlfriends who we don't really see much now i feel like when you're all in that like going out like not i feel like everyone else is much more into it than me but but you see people a lot more and then yeah i don't really see any of them anymore so it was actually really nice to catch up and stuff so we got back and then honestly oh ollie's brother just got back from thailand as well last night like in the early hours so we were like Oh, like sat talking to him it sounds like he had the best trip so that's amazing and then honestly we just went to sleep so this morning the same got up i've come to the gym i've got a busy day that i want to do with you guys today so i've worked out i want to go and walk sash because it's a dry day and um, then i want to do the vision board with you so that's the plan of the day i also need to finish editing this vlog that you're currently watching i got like about a third of the way through last night 
and what else um oh me and mum got to take the christmas decorations date my mum always does it 12 days after christmas and i but i think she counted wrong i think we we're actually supposed to do it yesterday but we're just going to go in denial and just pretend that it was actually meant to be today so yes that's what we are doing today that's what we're up to and then i think Lynn and i will just go and grab some dinner later so i'll speak to you guys in a bit i'm just gonna drive home okay bestie it is time to make our 2024 vision board so first step is we need some supplies i'm torn how to actually do this like whether i want to pin them or glue them the only thing with pinning is i found the last few years that's the way i've done it like sometimes they fall whereas i'm thinking if they are like glued but then i don't know whether it will glue to canvas so we're just going to go and see what they I've got i've come to the range i feel like the range just always has you know they have the goods so let's go anyway this is step one we need a, we, i just want to see what they've got to be honest because i haven't been here for a long time um so yeah we're just going to pop into the range see what they've got get any supplies that we want and i love making a vision board there's just something about it so wholesome so let's go wearing my lululemon set i've got my axles on and then this is a primark bag it's so cold today though like it's oh, it's the wind it's getting me okay instead of doing like pins in a canvas i don't know whether to do like a photo frame they've got this one this is wilco i imagine maybe the range brought wilco out. but it's just like a complete like perspex clear frame like this so like it's got no room or anything and then i'm thinking i could stick all the pictures to the back in and then put the put it on top or they've got these slightly smaller ones Although I've got them with like a black, um, or this, I don't know what this would be, like a good size. And not have like a super huge one, but they've got loads, depending on how much space you've got. I feel like the one I did last year was about that big. Okay, bestie, it's time to build our vision boards for 2024. So, I had a little bit of a nightmare. I started printing out all my pictures and then the printer ran out of ink and I was like, okay, right. Who's that? Hello. Oh, love you. So I, I was either like, right, I've go, got to go out and get ink or I can just go out and print the photos. Um, so I just decided to print them out like professionally. I just went to Max Spielman and then I thought, well, at least they'll be like glossy. So from the range, I just picked up this print stick. And then what I've done is these are all the pictures that I printed out and I've just like laid them out. I think I'm going to be sure. I think if I'd have printed them out on A4 paper, I'd be like so fine. But because I've had to print them out on like six by four, they're all obviously like a lot smaller. So it's okay because I'll build from the front, like the middle and I'll just, if I have to leave some space around, that's fine because I can find some cute images to sort of like bulk it up. But I printed out some really cute photos. So I'm going to talk you through like how I actually find the photos and everything first. Okay, so depending on how, especially if you've never made a vision board before, it can be a little bit overwhelming, like deciding what to put on it, what you actually want to add. So first put of call, I would say get yourself on Pinterest, make yourself a 2024 um, Pinterest board and just add, like scroll and just add any picture that you find inspiring to the Pinterest board. Um, and then I would, and then as well, sort of like while you've got that going on, I want you to sit down and if you haven't already, write down all of your goals for the year. So for example, some of mine are like to hit a certain amount of subscribers on YouTube, to maybe buy myself a certain thing, to achieve this, for my life like to look like this. So there's all different sort of things. And then I would say you want between two and three photos for each goal to like represent that. And then honestly, like the rest is completely up to you and like me and Mia did a lot of like chatting about this on Sisters and Souls so if you want to go and listen to that episode then obviously feel free but these are like my more like focused my pictures more focused on like work and like career so I have like four areas so I've split mine into like career personal life health slash wellness and then travel and I feel like those are quite like generic sort of categories that we could all have goals for so these are some of the ones that I've picked for like Korea and then these are more like personal ones just like things that I want to see like happening for myself this year so like I've got the things for the house like Ikea trips and you can make them like very like specific as well like and I feel like when you make them specific, that's when you really see things come into fruition and you're like, whoa. So I would always say that like I've had so many funny, like spooky situations where I've put a certain picture on my vision board and then I've almost like took like a recreational photo of it, but I haven't realised until I've looked back at my vision board or I've like looked at the picture with fresh eyes and then I'm like, oh my God, that actually happened. So I've just put like 
even just like someone with long nails like i love to get my nails like super long and healthy and um, like self-care hosting barbecues actually that's literally like my dream and i hope that we're in a position this year to be able to do it these are more of like my health wellness more like lifestyle ones so we've got like very gym girl reading journaling matcha long lashes like doing healthy food chops hot girl walks then we've got some little travel ones that I thought were super inspiring. Obviously, we've got a very exciting trip to Australia planned. So I've got some like cute pictures that represent that. And just like traveling in general, I feel like I want to explore a lot this year. Then I've just got some more travel pictures there. I also just printed out a big 2024 because I thought that would be cute like in the middle or something. And then these are more like quotes. These are to be fair what I wish were bigger because I feel like the quotes are really inspiring. Um, and I feel like it's what makes the board. So I don't know whether... I will maybe like go and print out more of these i don't know but i just printed i found some just like nice like little like little quotes that just you know confident self-care success ones that just shout out lucky girl it's your year fifty thousand subscribers it's already yours consistency like just little quotes that sort of will keep me going when i'm looking so next step i'm going to cut all those out i also like to put something inspiring on in the background last year me and mia did ours together so it was really fun because you know we we sat and we spoke about our goals and like we got ourselves like inspired between us so i feel like it's fun to do it with your friends but it's also like quite a personal thing so if you want to do it on your own and you feel like you thrive more doing it on your own then all honesty power to you um first step yeah like i said it's just going to be cutting them up and then i really think that i'm going to struggle to fit them all on which is a shame like i'm not going to have enough because look i got the big fat wilco's thing now i'm thinking i should have just got the small one I don't even know if this will fit. Also, just for a little bit of inspiration, this is my vision board from last year. And I kept this up in my room literally the whole year. I only took it down when I tidied it at the start of this week. And I personally found it very inspiring. Like, I just used to look up at it in my room, like, when I was getting ready or when I woke up in the mornings. And, yeah, it's just a nice focus. Like, we have a lot of things on here that have literally come true. So, like it's just wild like when you actually look at it just like the sisters and souls like it was literally just a fragment of our imagination when we did these vision boards and then like we fully come into our own with it so it's so lovely i don't know whether to do it on this i think i might pull all these off i feel like it will fit better <laughs> Okay, we're split up into sections the only thing i haven't cut out yet is this because i don't know whether i'm going to want like the individual numbers or it as like a block so i'm just going to leave that there but we've got our like wellness and like gym goals then we've got the travel goals the little cute quote some personal goals and then the work goals so they're all sectioned new backdrop unlocked okay i saw this girl who i don't know if i follow her she just popped up on my feed page but she was doing a vision board and she did a really cool thing that i was like I want to get on that so on the back of the photos before she stuck them down she wrote a manifestation on to like cement the manifestation well she wrote an affirmation on the back to cement the manifestation and i was like that is amazing so i'm just i'm not going to do them on everyone but just like the ones that speak to me and i want to like put them on i will so for example like this one it's just like a girl at the gym i'm just going to write i look after my body well like that and then let's just i don't know i'm just gonna pick random ones i thought that was actually such a nice thing and when i saw a do it i was like slay i was like i love that and then on this one of the youtuber flat plaque okay i'm gonna jump to a few more and then i'm gonna actually start gluing on i hope that glue will stick to the canvas <laughs> let's cross our fingers it's looking so 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 cute like i'm literally obsessed this is the finished result let me just pick you up and i'll show you 
Okay, so this is how we end up. We have got a few little gaps, but that's okay because I can print some more things off. Like I literally need probably like one, two, three, literally like four or five photos just to sort of complete it. And I'm not obsessed with this, but it will do for now. I don't know like how else, like I don't know if to just get like a cute font that says like 2024. I feel like it just looks a bit, I don't know. Maybe if it was full, it wouldn't give me the ick so much, but I feel like this is given and then it's like, boom. <laughs> But this is how cute it looks. So I've just got like brands on there that I'd love to work with. And you know like the YouTube plaque. Some nice quotes. I'm about to walk into the most successful and soul, soul nourishing year of my life. Travel goals. Reading. House buying. Australia. Engagement. Like all honestly pictures that just keep me like feeling inspired and that I really love. I always put it up here. So. Ta-da. How cute. And then that literally, like, my attention is immediately drawn to it in the mornings when I'm getting ready, when I wake up. Okay, girl, it's time to have a shower because I was lazy earlier and didn't. So, can't wait to get this back out and smell like a snacky snack again. So, we're going to have, not a, like everything shower because we've got pretty fresh fake tan, but we're going to use the Coco and Eve body shower. And we're going to get ourselves feeling nice and fresh, honestly, to put our pyjamas on and eat in bed, but that's the Saturday nights we like. Okay guys, we're at the shower and I just applied this all over the body. I just can't, I just can't, I love it so much. I obsess, like I actually just can't. And the fact that I could still smell it the next day just is everything to me. So I'm just about to do my skincare. Like I said, me and Ollie just, I think I know like eat dinner, either in the car or in bed. I don't know what, what. I cleanse my face in the shower, so I'm just gonna. I feel like this, is, this needs to be more of a mist because it just is so direct. Um, oh, I actually just got this. It's the Paula's Choice Salicylic Acid, you know, the exfoliant. So let me just grab a cotton pad. I feel like the girls on TikTok rave about this product. So I'm very excited to see like how I got on with it. I've used it once, I think. Um, but it's supposed to... Oh, I thought that was a bug then, it was just a bit of fluff. It says, unclogs and shrinks enlarged pores, smooths an even skin tone, um, lightweight liquid absorbs quickly. And I think I said to you guys a few times, like I struggle with pores like here, like on my nose. And to be fair, since using that Claudely mask, and then I started using this recently by the Inculus, the glycolic acid toner. I started using that as well and that was helping so i'm excited to sort of use them all you know now and again to sort of fix the problem so that's that i'm just going to go in with the kylie under eye cream and i'm just watching mia's vlog Hello guys, this is editing Jodie. This is where I am. Ollie's just gone to make me a squash, but look at Amber just brought me up. Little face mask, so I thought I could put it on while I do my editing. Also, she just brought me this up because she said that she's just not been using it and she's like, I feel like you'll use it. It's the Snow Fairy Moisturiser. I've never, well the body lotion, I've never had this, but if you guys know, I love Snow Fairy so much. I'm oh gonna look and it look and it's literally full, so I'm so excited for that. But um, I actually ended up getting out of my pajamas because we ended up going to this like Turkish restaurant and it was actually so much nicer than I expected it to be. Not that I didn't like, I personally love Turkish food, but I just like you know you just don't know. You know what... like when you've got no makeup on and you oh, put a gloss on you sometimes. Um, it was actually really nice. I'd never been there before. I don't know what it. I think it was called Daffodils or something. It's in like Wolverhampton. Um, Ollie's brothers really like it, so we ended up going there. So I just threw a tracksuit on, and then I literally got home, put the pajamas straight back on. So Ollie's on his Xbox, and I'm gonna miss living here. You know, just having Amber to bring me up a face mask. Living with siblings is very special. Thank you, darling. What a mood for 2024. 
You got the part. Thank you. Turn the light on yet? Uh, turn it off, see how dark it is. What? Turn it off a sec, see how dark it is. Oh, I love putting it on my lips. No, you can leave it off. Is that alright, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's on his Xbox, so I can't stay for too long because you will literally hate the boy. So, this is honestly just going to be me signing off the vlog. Um, it was a nearly two hour vlog, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I can't believe it's two hours. I literally only started vlogging on Wednesday, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I love you guys so much. I also wanted to say, PSA on the vision boards, I have, pardon? PSA on the vision boards, I've been guilty in the past of putting things on my vision board for the year of goals I actually want to achieve in two, three, four, five years and then reflecting and being disappointed. So this is just a reminder while I was editing back, I thought I need to say that. Put, go, put pictures on there of things you actually see happening this year that are motivating you and going to like, come into fruition this year not things that you want to like I don't know achieve in like five years because you're going to be a bit disappointed if so so yeah thought I'd just mention that but love you guys as always don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in a couple days with some more videos and then I'll see you in a week for another weekly vlog bye